If you're having trouble pooping, this video may help. So about 12 years ago, I was living in Beijing, China, which if you've never been, it's been developed a lot in the last 12 years, but it's still a pretty hardcore place to live. Now, one day I was out in the park because I was fascinated by seeing these seniors doing Tai Chi in the park at like five or 6 a.m. After one of the women had finished, I walked up to her and we were talking because I was practicing my Chinese. And I asked her what she was taking. She was taking some pills or something. And she said, oh, it's Chinese medicine. She said, it helps me go to the bathroom. And I said, oh yeah, I was joking. I have that same problem too, I did. And she said, well, why don't you try this? And it was a very official looking label. It's a patent generic medicine from over the counter Chinese medicine. And she said, you know, just try this. It's a famous formula, it's very safe. And actually it really helped me go to the bathroom. Now, up until that point, I had been abusing things like coffee and occasionally senna if it got really, really, really bad and I was getting worried. But what I learned is that this formula she gave me is a famous traditional Chinese medicine formula. And in today's video, we'll discuss what this formula is, as well as the many ways we can treat constipation. Hey guys, it's Dr. Alex Heim, board licensed acupuncturist and doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. Let's jump in. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty, let's talk about the three main reasons why people have a hard time pooping. In traditional Chinese medicine, we call them these three things. The first is what we call qi stagnation. Now, if you think of qi stagnation, a lot like emotional stagnation or stress, kind of like when you're overly focused on work or you're overly focused on getting some things done and you realize it's been 5 p.m. and you haven't had any urge for a bowel movement, that's sort of like a qi stagnation kind of constipation. Now, for a lot of people, this sort of constipation comes from stress, from emotional upheaval of some kind, or just being really engrossed in work and not even having a minute to take a breath and drink your cup of coffee. So in particular, qi stagnation constipation can be a number of things. Sometimes it's as simple as just the irregular every other day kind of person. They're never really fully having regular bowel movements, but it's not horrible. They're always a little bloated and gassy, but it's not a life crisis, right? They just drink a little bit more coffee or they take their prunes and they're fine. The second type is what we call heat and dryness constipation. Now in this kind of constipation, it is most commonly where people are saying, you know, it's about every three days where I go to the bathroom. And sometimes it can be really bad depending on if I travel or how I eat. Now, the origin most of the time of this heat-based constipation in my practice is typically a very poor diet. So typically the standard American diet, too many carbs, not enough good vegetables, not enough healthy animal protein, basically results in a lack of lubrication in the intestines. Sometimes there's inflammation and sometimes it's just overeating. The standard American diet is really high in calories and if you're throwing a massive amount of food into a limited pipe that, that can grow, you produce a kind of kink and it's gonna take your body a few days to work that actual kink out if you keep eating the same food intake. Now the third kind is often the kind where people have loose, soft or sticky stools, but they're still actually not having regular bowel movements. So there are some people who have regular loose stools, that's very common, we've talked about it here. They typically are prone to more frequent bowel movements, very loose. We say that's related to the spleen and pancreas function. Now, when we talk about the loose stools, the soft stools, but still constipation, these are people who typically have a high intake of raw foods, vegetables, or too many cooling foods, as we call it. Like for example, sometimes people are raw vegans or they're very prone to like vegetarian type diets, but they may have some of these other issues too. They may have the qi stagnation pattern from stress, a regular lifestyle, or even just not taking the time on a day-to-day -day basis, really. So these are the three dominant types we tend to see, but let's jump in and talk a little bit about more of the formulas we can use here. Now, I'm actually doing a live workshop in a couple weeks all about the five daily practices you can do from traditional Chinese medicine to reset your adrenals and your nervous system. If you find that you're too revved up, you're chronically exhausted, you know, you're wired but tired, come join me live. We'll also do a live q and I probably do four of these per year and the space is limited. So the link right below this video will have the URL to join me live for this workshop. So make sure you enroll because again, this is one of the few live things that I do every single year. Now when we talk about what that mysterious formula was, this old grandma gave me in the park, it sounds very sketchy when I bring it up. There's actually an interesting study done on this formula. I mean, there are lots of studies, but they actually compared this formula versus Senna. Now Senna is one of the most common over-the-counter stimulant or purgative laxatives that causes basically irritation in the intestines and it causes, you know, more frequent bowel movements. But long-term abuse of laxatives can weaken the peristaltic muscles and contractions in your intestines that will make it 
potentially permanently harder to have bowel movements. So you wanna stay far away from them as best you can. Now this study is called The Efficacy of Mazarin Wan, a Chinese herbal medicine in patients with functional constipation in a randomized controlled trial. In this study in particular, they basically had 291 patients seen in clinics in Hong Kong. They were basically observed for two weeks and then assigned randomly to two groups. They were either given Mazarin Wan, this formula, or Senna, or a placebo. So three different intervention groups basically, or non-intervention for placebo. Now what they found was that the group that received the Mazarin Wan formula had significant increases in colonic transit, AKA less constipation, they sped up the bowel movements, and reduced severity of constipation, strain training, incomplete evacuation, and global overall constipation symptoms compared with the placebo or the Senna. They said ultimately the conclusion was that it was more well tolerated than Senna with less side effects and had about the same effect overall. So let's talk about our organ or differential diagnosis here. Traditional Chinese medicine, we say there's an organ associated with a certain pathology. It's a little bit different language, but there are certain organs we target with internal medicine formulas that will treat certain kinds of constipation. And if you use the wrong formula on the wrong organ network or organ system, typically it can make symptoms worse. So if you have what we call weak spleen pancreas function, it's called spleen chi deficiency, and you give someone a purgative laxative, you will often worsen their diarrhea or their bowel frequency. So let's talk about the first one, for example. When we talk about that chi stagnation constipation, very commonly, we say that chi stagnation constipation relates to a couple different organ networks. Sometimes it is what we call spleen pancreas deficiency. More commonly, people with this pattern tend towards frequent and loose stools. They tend towards typically a little bit lower appetite or at least getting a food baby, food allergies. They have very sensitive digestion. The kids that have this pattern typically are very picky eaters and they may eat just like cheese and bread. So for this kind in particular, we are basically using formulas that are treating either what we say are the spleen pancreas or the liver gallbladder. Now, when we talk about the dry stools, we're talking more about mostly the stomach and large intestine and the liver and gallbladder. A lot of the formulas that we typically use here are used not only to treat the root, but now there's an aspect of inflammation and heat in the picture. Now, the organs most commonly affected are the stomach and the gallbladder. These people almost always come in with acid reflux and they may not have it yet, or they may not notice it every day, but gallbladder issues. And again, my experience is that typically this is the result of a bad diet. Finally, if we get to the, the soft bowel movements, but still constipation, this pattern often has loose stools, people get a food baby easily, they have lots of food allergies, they tend towards frequent bowel movements, sometimes fatigue and low immunity. This pattern is a little bit different though, because people can have soft stools, or often even sometimes strong smelling stools, but still soft or loose. This is typically someone who has the chi stagnation pattern, nervous system, with a poor or weak digestive system, or they're eating too many cold and raw foods as we call it. Smoothies, raw vegetables, too many salads, uh, lots of raw vegans have this pattern, for example. Lots of vegetarians, if they're doing raw vegetarian, often have this pattern too. Now, that is a very exhaustive video on poop overall. Again, if you guys want, I work with a limited number of new patients one-to-one -one in person in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine. If you guys want to reach out, just go to dralexhine.com forward slash clinic. There's also a link right below this video where we have my clinic phone number, our email, as well as the address if you wanted to go directly book there. So check that out. And on top of that, don't forget, I've put together a free quiz here so you can see what organ networks are associated with the root cause of your symptoms. Very neat. It's like 12 pages long. We've also hyperlinked to some of our top videos on the topic. The whole thing's free. So check it out right below this video. And don't forget, if you guys wanna join me live, I do this like literally four times a year and the space is limited because of the software I'm paying for. So sign up for this workshop, the five-step adrenal reset, and I would love to see you live.